afternoon. I'm Ray Lavender, Chief of the Roanoke County Police Department. Joining me this afternoon is uh, Kevin Faust, a supervisor with the local FBI, George Austin of the Virginia State Police, uh, Chuck Mason, who's with the Roanoke County Police Department, <coughs> Randy Leach, who's the Roanoke County Commonwealth's Attorney, Bill Fallon, who's the Chief Deputy of the U.S. Marshal Service, and Gerald Holt, the U.S. Marshal for the Western District of Virginia. <coughs> also joining this is Ann Jones, who's the Victim Witness Coordinator for Mr. Leach's office. Uh, first, I'd like to say thank you to the many people in Roanoke County and the region who've contacted us with tips and information concerning this ongoing investigation. Your information has been very valuable and we ask that you continue to provide that information to us. Uh, uh, we have recently established a new website or an email address, I should say, uh, and that email address is finebrittany at roanokecountyva.gov. And uh, if you would uh, like to email us any tips or information that you would have, Uh, we would uh, certainly be pleased to receive that information, and it may help us immensely. Uh, today, we're still actively searching for 12-year-old Brittany May Smith and 32-year-old Jeffrey Scott Easley. The search for this 12-year-old middle school student began Monday morning after officers <coughs> were called to the residence at 3341 Fort Lewis Circle in Roanoke County. We went there for a well-being check. When our officers entered the residence, they found the body of 41-year-old Tina Smith. Co-workers had contacted us uh, after Mrs. Smith did not show up for work. Uh, while at the scene, we also determined that the 12-year-old child was missing. The missing child is <clears throat> Tina Smith's 12-year-old daughter, Brittany, and she's a seventh grader at Glenburn Middle School here in Roanoke County. Uh, police <coughs> uh, have said that Tina and Brittany Smith were last seen in the area on Friday morning, December the 2nd. Tina's car is a, ninth, uh, sorry, a 2005 Silver Dodge Neon. Uh, it has Virginia tags XKF2365. That's also missing from the home, and we would ask that folks uh, uh, look very carefully in the area and notify us immediately if they see this vehicle. We are confident at this time that Brittany is with Mr. Easley. Mr. Easley is a friend of the family, and Tina and Jeff apparently met online this summer and developed a relationship. Jeff moved in with Tina and Brittany in October. We are extremely concerned for Brittany's safety, and we've asked the state police to uh, continue with the Amber Alert for another 24 hours. Mr. Easley, uh, we have distributed his picture on quite a number of areas of the media. Uh, he's a white male with brown hair and hazel eyes, and he may or may not have a goatee. He's about 5 foot 11 and weighs about 265 pounds. <clears throat> uh, Mr. Easley was last seen in the area Friday evening and works for a local landscaping company. He does have family in eastern North Carolina and in Alabama. Our ongoing investigation of Tina Smith's death uh, is continuing at this time. The medical examiner uh, conducted an autopsy uh, this morning and is probably continuing in this afternoon and we're hopeful that we will have a better cause of death later on today. We are still very hopeful for Brittany's safe return. We're asking the public to please be on the lookout for this Dodge Neon and help us with that in any way that they can. Uh, we are assisted by a number of agencies as I reported a little bit earlier and all of those agencies have been immensely helpful and they're all dedicated to the safe return of Brittany. Especially uh, Brittany's friends, if they're out there and have any information, 
for any any contact at all with Brittany, we're asking them, please call us at 777-8641 uh, or send us an email at the email address that I described a little earlier. And if you have any questions, I will attempt to answer those at this time. You said that Tina and Brittany were last seen Friday morning. Can you give us an idea of where? Uh, somewhere in the Salem area. Were they out shopping, driving, uh, or? I'm not sure. I think uh, they were seen leaving their residence uh, sometime uh, early, uh, it, or I guess mid-morning. Okay, Friday. you said that Mr. Easley was last seen Friday night. Can you give us an idea of where? Uh, in the southeast Roanoke area, we were led to believe that he was in that area. Could he have been near the house? Uh, we don't have any information that he has been near the house on Friday. Yet. The inside of the residence, though, is there signs of a struggle? Or a uh, we're, we're not going to comment on anything that may be used as evidence in a later prosecution if, uh, if that prosecution should happen. And the timeline, how long did it take, or how did it head start? We really don't know, uh, and maybe the medical examiner can provide some information related to that, but at this time, we really don't know. And is that preliminary call to death for the jury? Or? No, sir. Uh, we, have, uh, we have no information yet, and uh, we're waiting to hear that from the, uh, the medical examiner's office. Do you have any reason to believe that Brittany may be willingly with this gentleman? I have no information at this time that would indicate that. So do you believe at this time that she was abducted by Mr. Easley? We believe that she's with him, and uh, we're, we're not exactly sure about that situation, and we're very hopefully hopeful that Brittany will call us and uh, at least contact us and let us know that she's okay if it's a situation of which you speak. Do you have, uh, can you give us an idea how many tips have come in and where they're coming in from? Uh, numerous tips, uh, most of them uh, local uh, in Roanoke County and surrounding areas. You could easily, I mean, they could easily be hundreds of miles away, uh, maybe perhaps even further. Have you received any hint, just any sense yet as to whether, uh, how close they are, where, wherever they might be, just any sense? Yet? No, sir. And uh, we are very uh, disappointed in the lack of information that would indicate, uh, you know, them being in this area or you know, even far away. Uh, it's uh, it's very frustrating to us. And do you believe that Mr. Easley murdered um, Tina Smith? Uh, at this time, we don't have any information that would indicate that. Uh, we are uh, continuing that investigation, and I guess. Uh, First, we'd like to say there are three stages. We would like to get Brittany back safely. Uh, we would like to uh, uh, get Mr. Easley back, make sure that he's okay. And then uh, we would like to uh, investigate the murder thoroughly. We don't have information that would indicate that there was uh, anything other than him living at the residence and uh, being in contact with her and, and her mother on, on a daily basis. And uh, so we're, we're pursuing that and, and maybe uh, when we talk to Brittany, uh, uh, we can, uh, can find out exactly what the situation was. So have you moved out? I'm sorry? Have you been following up? Uh, he was still living at the residence last Friday, is my understanding. And are we, are we, are you guys calling this a death investigation or is it a homicide investigation here or here? Uh, that's that's going to depend on what the medical examiner tells us at that time. Chief, do you still believe that Brittany's life is in danger? Absolutely. I have not checked that. Uh, we are, we are, we have some, I guess, feelers out to those two areas to see what information we can collect on them. But I don't have that back at this time. What was the source of the photo you've been given? Was it a police photo? Of, of whom? Mr. Easley. Mr. Easley. I'm, I'm not certain. I think that's a, a DMV photo. 
you sort of made a plea to Britain's friends. Is there a belief that they may know more that you don't know? We certainly hope that they can provide some information that we don't have at this time. And we understand that she had some very close friends, and she was in touch with them almost on a daily basis. And we'd certainly like to talk to any of her friends that can provide us any information. Do you believe that Britain, do we know if she has a cell phone and may still have that with her? We understand that she did have a cell phone, but she's not contacted any one of us or any member of this department or any member of the community that we know of by that cell phone. Have your investigators interviewed any victims? We've talked to some of them here and there, but we don't have a lot of information at this point. Any connection with the victims? I'm not certain about that. And does South Boston play a role in this case, the attorney counsel's South Boston? Her father is a South Boston police officer. Does he have custody of some sort? I think he shared custody with the mother. Have you gotten any calls, tips at all from outside the Roanoke Valley? I know you said most of them have been from our area. No, sir, we've not had any calls or tips from outside the Roanoke Valley. Which I would imagine concerns you because possibly she's been on, you know, they've been on the road for several days and certainly could be in other parts of the country, right? That's true.